Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another plan with me for you today. And this week I will be planning the week of Monday, June 24th through Sunday, June 30th. And I will be using this gorgeous kit from Wild Summer Designs. It is called Summer Vibes. And I leave for the beach on the 29th. So this is the perfect kit for this week. I did pick up the mini kit. So these are the full boxes. Um, half boxes checklist, uh, weekly or sidebar items, some flags. I love this peach color in this kit. Icons, headers, um, some boxes, weekend banner, and washi strips and bottom washi. Really, really pretty. I'm really excited to use this kit. And then I'm also pulling in gold foil this week. So I've pulled in quite a few things from other shops. I've got these um, confetti glitter headers from Bodacious Prints. This is the matching freebie that came with the kit. These film edit upload icons from Chic Blossom Prints. This foiled Happy Mail script from Bodacious Prints as well as date covers. Um, foiled appointment label or appointment script from Chic Blossom Prints and then foiled date dots from Nightingale Paper Co. I do PR for all of the shops that I have mentioned and you can check the description for my coupon codes. And as always, I am going to be planning in my Lights Planner Action Week on four page inserts and I am going to get started by putting down the bottom washi, the date covers, and the date dots. And I will be right back. All right, so I've got my date covers down and my date dots, and these are gold foiled and my bottom washi, which is so pretty. So let's move to the sidebar. In the sidebar, I'm going to use my Happy Mail script from Bodacious Prints as my header, and I might actually put it over a piece of washi because this kit has all of these washi strips. And I want to do it over this peachy, peachy orange color because it is so pretty. Yeah, that's perfect. So I do have quite a bit of Happy Mail coming in this week, which is exciting, and hopefully most of it will get here before I leave on Saturday. So for checklist, I have eight, so I can use one of these. Let's see. Let's use the gray one. I don't know that I have six things coming, but might as well just go ahead and use the whole thing here. And then here, I think I'm going to do um, one of these like scene pieces of washi. And let's do the water. That is perfect. And moving down to my habit section, I am going to use the two habit trackers in the kit. And I pulled my custom scripts, or, or my scripts for these, one of which is a custom. So my no spend is a script from Piper Paper Company, and then my vitamins is a custom script from Nightingale Paper Co. So let's do a quarter box, or let's do a label. Let's do it in this peach color again, or let's do green. I don't have any green over here. This is going to be for what I am currently reading. So we'll do vitamins and no spend and my habit trackers. And then I pulled my foiled book icons from a sticky sloth designs to go here for what I'm reading this week. All right. So there is everything for my sidebar. So moving on to the day today, I am going to use my headers. Let's see. I'm going to do, I think, the light blue as well as this because it's kind of like a sandy color. I thought those would be good. And I'm going to do the sandy headers at the top with my checklist. I am going to trim these checklists down to five and then the blue headers over my full boxes. So I'm going to go through and put down my headers, checklist, and full boxes and I will be right back. Alright, so I've got my headers down. I completely forgot these were scallop headers and they are so cute. It's always a pleasant surprise. And then my checklist and my full boxes. I just love all these boxes. They are so pretty. So let's go to the day today. So starting on Monday, um, it's an edit day. 
I'm actually going to be editing a lot this week, um, filming and editing a lot to prepare for my vacation week, so I'll still have a few videos go up while I am on vacation. So pretty much every day is going to be an edit day, but we're just going to start with Monday. So like I said, I'm using these foiled icons from Chic Blossom Prints, and then my edit script this week is from Piper Paper Company. All right, and that's really it that I have on Monday, other than things that will go on my to-do list. So moving on to Tuesday. Tuesday I have a meeting. So I want to do, let's see, a full box. Let's start with my upload icon and then see if I have enough room. If not, I'll do a quarter box. So let's do my icon and then my upload script is from Piper Paper Company. Might not have room for a half box. No, that's okay though. So let's do a quarter box. And then I pulled my foiled appointment scripts from Sheep Blossom Prints. Do that right there. Perfect. Okay. So that is it for Tuesday. Wednesday is another edit day. Like I said, I'll be editing a lot this week. So we'll do this and the same edit script. All right. And then Wednesday, I need to clean the house. Um, honestly, that will probably go in my checklist. But it does need to be a priority, so I think I'm going to go ahead and mark it because I love leaving with a clean house. So let's do this icon here, maybe on one of these little strips. Let's do this. These are kind of like header size, but it will also still give me room if I need to mark anything else. So right there. So that is for cleaning. Then Thursday, I have a baseball game with my dad, which I'm not 100% sure if I'm actually going to go to because we leave in two days and I don't have a lot to do, but I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Um, I'm going to use, I love these fancy labels here. So I'm going to use this to mark that with my dad. I might end up not going. We shall see. Let's see. What do I want to mark that with? Do the car because it is out of town for me. That's the thing. It's an hour and a half drive there and back. And I'd love to do it with my dad if we weren't leaving in two days and I'll be with my dad. So we'll just see. I'm going to mark it because it is in my plans and I have to do's and it is an upload day. And my same upload script. It's also a film day, but that will go in my checklist. Alrighty. So moving on to fr Friday. Friday, I'm going to have a ton of to do's. A ton. But the main one is that I need to be completely packed. So I'm going to use one of these flags. So that is for packing, and I'm probably going to go ahead and upload all my videos for the next week this day as well. Probably put that in my to-do list. Um, I also need to bring my oldest dog to my mother-in-law's house. My um, mother and father-in-law are keeping our oldest dog, and then our two younger dogs who are a little crazy are staying at the kennel at the boarding facility. So I'm going to use the house icon for bringing her over. All right, perfect. So that is it on Friday. Um, doesn't seem like it's a busy week, but I have a lot of stuff to do in my to-do list. So let's move to the weekend. I did go ahead and put my date dots down on the weekend. Um, I used up all the bottom washi, so I'm going to use my full boxes as bottom washi this week. And I saved both of the 
full boxes that have the like beach and ocean view so it's kind of similar to the bottom washi on the front and then I'm going to do my headers over these again oh my that was very crooked Let's see if I can remove this quickly or if I need to get out undo does anyone else do this they try whew, to not use undo even though we have undo there we go that is much better so same uh, blue headers over these boxes and then I'm going to put my weekend banner right over that and Sunday I'm not going to need a to-do list because I'm going to be at the beach I will Saturday um, so I think I'm just going to do one scallop header on Saturday. Let me do my weekend banner. Like I said, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's do a weekend banner here. That is really pretty. And then we'll do a checklist on Saturday. All right, so like I said, I don't need, I'm still gonna do a header on Sunday just so it looks uniform, but I don't need a checklist. I'm gonna put down a full box on Sunday. I'll probably end up using a few full boxes. I'm going to kind of um, back plan or kind of memory plan, just put down the things that happened during the day. Um, on Saturday, let me use this quarter box. I have to drop off my pups at the border first thing in the morning. And then we have to drop off my car. Um, at my dad's house. I'm going to use a coffee cup for that and then drive to the beach. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and use this beach flag to mark arriving because that's pretty much what is going to happen. All right, and then Sunday I'll wait to mark anything until we get there. So on to the next week section. The next week is going to be a full week at the beach. <laughs> so normally I would, um, in my next week section, I'd put a weekly tracker with my appointments for the next week, but I'm not going to have any appointments. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to stack some of this washi because I have so much on the side. I'm gonna put a full box first, or excuse me, a half box first to mark my favorite thing for the week. And then I'm going to stack some washi just to fill in the space because I'm gonna be at the beach the entire week. So there's really nothing that I need to keep track of. Um, I do need to keep track of my upload schedule for the next week, but I'm gonna have my planner with me and already have it um, laid out so I don't think I'll need to put that in like a weekly tracker oh one thing I'm not uploading on Saturday normally I upload on Saturdays um, but I am uploading a special collab playing with me on Sunday the 30th so I'm going to mark that and let's do a label for that because it is a special upload, not a normal one. And let's do another icon and upload. And then I'll probably write details below that. Alrighty. So I did finish that sheet of full boxes. And I'm just gonna stack some of this washi, probably this one. That one's so pretty. And then this week, um, I usually use this page just minimally, any, you know, things I need to do, that sort of thing. But this year, I'm going to use this as my um, packing and shopping list. So I'm actually going to use this uh, pretty functionally this week. So I'm going to use these checklists here as well as these bows um, for big things I need to do. And, yeah, I think that's it for this. Um, I'll just go through and fill this out, like I said, functionally, use these checklists. And yeah, I'm really excited. This is the perfect kit for heading to the beach. So, so pretty. 
So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see close-ups of this spread, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans. And if you are using a beach kit this week, please comment below, let me know, or let me know what kit you are using. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload two to three videos per week. And that is it for everything this week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!